Cosmos, and welcome back to Super Mario World. Today, we're challenging the sunken ghost ship. The one haunted place where you can bring Yoshi. Alright, I'm not sure that having a feather specifically will help me in this level, but... It'll at least uh, give me an extra hit. So I was playing, what was that game? Final Fantasy XII recently, and I'm at the end of the game trying to huh, get powerful weapons. No. And like, this involves a lot of grinding against various enemies to, ah, in order to try and, uh, huh, nope. In order to try and get materials, yes to make weapons with. Sheesh. Now you can see why I wanted to bring Yoshi with me. No! Why? The invincibility you get for falling off of Yoshi seems short compared with the invincibility you get for taking damage. Anyway, what happened to fun quests like I don't know. Going down in a going down a hole to see uh whoops. Whoops, whoops. Going down a hole fighting a whole bunch of really old monsters that uh don't belong in this era. Refighting a boss well, fighting a tougher version of a boss in order to find a shell that you then store for 400 years until you can meet someone capable of uh, making, making a weapon out of that. And then due to weird plotting by another character, you, have, you wind up having to interrupt a, uh, what's it called? A trial. Nope. Interrupt a trial. Man, that was a weird level. <laughs> I love this cutscene. Anyway, interrupt a trial and then refight a boss that you fought before near the beginning of the game who hasn't upgraded his stats in the least, so he's kind of a joke. Ah! I mean, that was, f that was a fun quest, not like a, okay, here, go into these woods you already explored, find this rare enemy. What?! That attacked Mario directly, even though he was on Yoshi. What? <laughs> now, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Go into the woods, find this rare enemy, kill 80 of it, in the hopes of getting four of this item that it drops and then go repeat the process elsewhere with a dozen other enemies until you have enough stuff to make a new sword. That's not fun, that's just time wasting. That's, that's a massive time sink. Or go into a chamber on a specific chamber on the moon and try to encounter an enemy that has a 1 in 255 chance of being encountered. And, and then kill it in the hopes that it'll drop in a 1 in 255 item that you can go trade for really good armor. Wee.
I mean, to be fair, that second variation that I described had at least has a... Come on, brain. At least has a, an item you can use to shortcut the first part. If you know that the item exists and how to get it when it first shows up. Okay, so I do like this level. I was just surprised when that mole outright killed me while I was on a Yoshi. The only enemies I've seen do that before are th these ones, the ones I'm standing on. Well, they're more blocks than enemies. Oh, hey, a moon. Anyway, yeah, the only enemies I've seen do that before were those blocks, and even then... Oh, I don't even need to go up there. Oh, there went my chance to destroy that enemy with little trouble. Like, I, I like when games have secrets, but I like when those secrets are somewhat hinted at in the game. Rather than having to find out through sheer blind luck. Or uh, trying an unrewarding stealing mechanic in the hopes of getting something rewarding for once. A stealing mechanic that punishes you with damage every time you fail. <laughs> Alright, so, the Valley of Bowser. I'm supposed to be getting stars here. Oh, there we are. One star. There, now I'm not on the verge of a game over all of a sudden anymore. Valley of Bowser 2. Oh, hey, this kind of level again. Oh, hey, look at that. If I cared about flying in this level, I might get that. Oh, I don't... I don't know why, but there's something really appealing about the impact of the jumps in this game that... Oh, neat! So I guess when you jump on one of those platforms that moves up and down, the uh, dust appears at the starting position of the platform? Fascinating. There's just something really satisfying about that that doesn't feel like it exists in such a satisfying way in a Super Mario Bros. X, even though I'm pretty sure it's ex oh, well. Not exactly the same, almost exactly the same. Okay, so that was a standard exit. Now, to try and find the secret exit. Those bats c gotta come from somewhere, right? But the screen doesn't want to scroll up. No! So, flying isn't all that useful in this level. Okay, so I think the reason that they... Oh, hey. What is this? Not an extra life, clearly. There we are. So I think that the reason that they... Yeah, the reason that they give you the wings here to escape with Yoshi is because this section is not built for Yoshi. You're too tall. It will annihilate you if you have a Yoshi. Alright, I'm just going to wait until this goes all the way up and take it cautiously. Alright, head here. Oh, 
All right, and then take a short jog here. Okay, and I want to be over here. And then I want to be riding down when this descends so I can get to that hole over there. Oh, nearly got myself crushed there. And then I need to go, 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 go. Do I want to go on the top there or do I want to go on the bottom here? Ugh, I have to go on the top. Why even give me the option of the bottom then? Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. This segment is really stressful. Let's see, I am assuming that this is another dead end. Yeah. Another dead end. Wait. Yeah, I'm supposed to go running when this ascends because if I try when this descends, I'm just going to get annihilated and I can't move the camera while I'm on this stuff. Woo! Made it. Wish I could move the camera to see what's up ahead. Like, do I want to... Okay, okay. The easy path is usually... The easier looking path is usually a path that will get you killed if you take it, but in that case, the easier looking path was the only path. Whew. Oh no. Run, 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 run. Ugh. Huh. Odd. Okay, so I did the level for real that time while trying to find the secret exit. I was pretty sure that the secret exit was up above the, uh, Well, whatever, I'm... Ah! Oh yeah, that was that was just great. Good playing there, me. Okay. So now I at least have a hit. Okay. Okay, mushroom power up. Okay, not up here. I have to go through this thing again in order to find the secret exit. Delightful. This place is really stressing me out, man. Yep. Oh, as well, soon as I'm done finding the secret exit in this level. Ah, no. 
Okay, there's more leeway than I give it credit for. If I could make a mistake like that and still not die. Alright. Woo! Okay, so then we need to wait for this to go down. And then. Woo! Head up this way. Go down like this. Woo! Okay. Yeah, trying to ride a Yoshi through here would be ridiculous. It's not built for that. All right, run, 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 run. Okay. Yeah, I missed this. I I was too impatient is the issue. All right. Join me tomorrow when I take on the Valley Fortress. I'm going to save my position now. All right, see you then.